Hi, I'm Owen Canfield with the opinion page of The Oklahoman, here to talk about life at the Capitol with our chief correspondent, Capitol correspondent, Mike McNutt. Mike, thank you for being here as you are every Friday. Glad to be here. Hey, uh, news last night, kind of late uh, uh, in the day, a, uh, a bill that would have allowed the state to pursue um, construction of a health insurance exchange to comply with the federal health care law, cooking along. Last night, legislative leaders and Republicans say, we're going to pull this bill until the U.S. Supreme Court decides whether uh, the federal law is constitutional. Kind of a surprise, no? Well, I think yes and no. I mean, it was depending upon it, its politics infiltrating the legislative system process and do what now? Politics, politics at exactly. the legislature? Infiltrating. Horrors. Say exactly. it's not true. And uh, it had that one word for Republicans dread Obama, Obama attached yeah. to it. Sure. And even though the philosophy really was, dis was discussed in 2007 by Republican task force looking at health care, the concept is really simple. To help insure Oklahoma program, they thought about having an online system to right. get more people to understand the insure Oklahoma, the state subsidized right. insurance program. So simply, it's not a bad idea, but then once it was part of the national health care that the president uh, uh, advocated a couple years ago and had mandates that every person has to have insurance, and it became kind of the rallying cry sure. for Republicans, anybody against big government, that they're against it. So there was a lot of surprise, really. They formed a task force. It goes back to that $54 million grant right. last rejected year. Rejected uh, last year. First accepted, accepted then it. rejected. And then they formed a task force, which politicians are like to do, especially right. out here. They like to form a task force. Studied that last fall. I studied it, and last month came out with a report saying, look, Senator Coburn says he thinks the Supreme Court's going to uphold the health care law. You better get going. Right. Because if you don't, the federal government's going to come in and set up the Institute program. Institute their own. Right. So that's the recommendation. They said, we're still hoping the Attorney General, Scott Pruitt, right. still has his lawsuit in the background. Right. And we also hope the Republicans win in November and then President Obama won't be here and right. we'll the new, repeal the law, everybody's happy. Say they repeal the law. But that all of that, that's a lot of assumptions. That may not happen. Right. And if so, if the Supreme Court does uphold the law, then Oklahoma's scrambling now to get in compliance. And so that's, we that's saw, the issue. Yeah, what we saw happen was after this report came out saying let's go ahead and pursue this, right. develop this exchange, a number of Republicans, more conservative, constitutional conservatives, Tea Party members, started calling Republican lawmakers and recruiting primary candidates to run against right. leadership. Right. And I think that pressure uh, really is what caused them to say, look, why are we falling on the sword for the president? We don't support this plan at all. Right. So let's just throw it, say we're not going to do it, and hope the Supreme Court does throw it out. If not, what have they got to lose? Their, their, their base is going to say, right. the federal government comes in 2014 and starts instituting a health exchange program. A number of people are going to rally behind the Republican legislators and say, hey, we don't, we don't want this. Right. Well, as you said, it's politics uh, first and foremost. is sort of self-preservation. These guys can now go back and, and, and they, as they get on the stump this spring, say, hey, we decided to hold off. We don't like, we don't like it any more than you do. I, I'm not sure it's the best policy or the best course of action, but that's what they chose to do. So. It's an election year. And right. it'd be interesting if this was not an election year, how they this would, would have, be handled. Yeah, they yeah. may have handled a different approach. Yeah. But politically, I'm sure all the consultants are saying this is an issue that's killing you on the polls, right. and you're going to probably have a hard, hard primary right. uh, fight. Mike, thanks so much for your time. Always good to talk to you. We'll uh, be here again next week to talk about life at the Capitol with Mike McNutt. I encourage you also to read his stuff every day in the Oklahoman and here on News Oklahoma.